on to battle. By the way, those folks we just passed were talking about us. What were they saying? They were warning each other to be careful, talking about the demons that burned down Helavis and destroyed the Seagate Fortress being near the capital. Considering how bold we've been, everyone's still fairly calm about it. We'll be famous soon enough once we kill the world's savior. Sounds like that could get fun. Fun? Why? The people trying to capture us will put prices on our heads and put up wanted posters everywhere. Depending on who draws the likenesses, each portrait can look completely different. You know what I'm talking about, right, Eisen? Aye. I've seen dozens of pictures of myself. Some make me a monster, others make me a handsome youth. It's fascinating, really. I hope I get a poster soon. Then do your best to really stir things up. Right. I'll stir everything up good. <sighs> I can imagine, like, not that one, the poster, but the last object. Like, what was the name of that? Uh, Exorcism? Oh, another skit. Well, we've learned one thing coming to the capital. The Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd, savior of humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malachim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called Enominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four. One ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything, Luffy said? Sorry. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down. And to make sure that I kill him. You're good at what you do. I'm impressed. There's still more to do. I'm sure it'll be easy for you. Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern. Have you heard? The Abbey is building a new base. I hear it's a huge temple in the middle of some mountains near a site of ancient ruins. If they've got time to build a temple, they should use it to kill more demons instead. You sure you want to talk like that here? Ha! I'm different from all those losers who swoon over the shepherd's pretty words and ignore reality. No one's found a way to cure demon blight yet, and demons are still swarming everywhere. Sure, maybe things are not as bad as they could have been, but we still have no idea what's going to happen next. Think about it! Demons could be infiltrating the city as we speak, and we'd be none the wiser! Yep, you're completely right. All right, the guards are gone. Let's move in. Benwick and the crew did a fine job. Oh. 
Red crates. These must be our targets. The seal of Midgant Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's no need. Burn them, Lafayette. Okay. We're done here. Let's go. That storm cost too much time. I must report to Lord Artorias as soon as possible. <gasps> it's you! Oh, hey. The crybaby. Eleanor Hume! Exorcist Crater! <laughs> you won't get away this time! So, she should to fire. He's water. What at all, so I gonna You really wanna fight, don't you? Willing to fight without your Malachine? No! You set the storehouse ablaze?! The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis! How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built?! Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this! You demon! More Malachim up her sleeves! I will protect you, Mad <laughs> Eleanor! Come and face me now, demon! What? He's adorable. Uh, am I? Ooh, I found you at last! That bad, bad voice! Fu, you traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! Mother! No! What are you doing? Get out there and fight! Hey, look! Is that smoke? It is! Fire! The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. <laughs> Madam Exorcist! What happened? Oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Y yes, madam. Tell me, do you know what was being kept in that warehouse? Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine provided by High Priest Gideon to be distributed to doctors across the land. Medicine given by the church. Why would anybody destroy it? Whew. Looks like we're in the clear. Weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? The very same, the Moloch Bienfu! A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of? Not sure I get it. Me neither. Me neither. Pray that you never do. 
Let's go back and report our success. Here I come! Turn away! Not even worth my time. What's the deal with you and that exorcist, Eleanor? She had tears in her eyes when we first saw her at Northgand. Velvet poked fun at her, calling her the crybaby exorcist. Why would an exorcist cry? Sacrificing the individual for the good of the many is part of Artorius's philosophy. She seemed troubled by that. She's naive. That she can still carry on shows just how strong she is. It looks like they don't hand out the rank of Praetor to just anyone. Hmm? Just stay sharp around her. That's all. By the way, is that Bienfu character that Magilu was after really a Moloch? He may look strange, but yes, he's still a Moloch. That means Magilu is an exorcist. Why does she call herself a witch then? If she got locked up in that prison, she must have been kicked out of the Abbey. Or she could be a fraud. Yeah. Even if she wasn't an exorcist, she could still perform some tricks with a Moloch like that. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor. Fish me now, demon. <laughs> right? <laughs> Was that laughter? Uh, I'm sorry. Why apologize? Bienfu is funny, right? Right. Then if you want to laugh, laugh! <laughs> <laughs> if you think that's funny, you should give it a try for yourself. Say, Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Uh, all right. Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Knock it off. Huh? What's the problem? People are staring. Don't attract attention. I'm sorry. <sighs> She's so uptight. Let's try it together later, Luffy Set. Uh, all right. Okay, what time it was doing? Oh, yeah. Trouble at the docks was there? Well, so long as the job was done. Good luck. I look forward to hearing your report. A scholar missing on the road to Gallus Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing persons case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities, but our job isn't to ask questions. High Priest Gideon is an honest and righteous man. He's dedicated his life to his faith and to the church. Now, as the representative of the clergy, he's thrown his full support behind the Abbey. Hmm. So, he's a man of principle. That's right. He even donated his personal savings to support orphanages and hospitals. So be at ease. For he offers up prayers for all equally, even for the more dubious among us, such as yourselves. Right. I'm so grateful. I can feel the tears of gratitude coming. Any moment now.
Outrageous! Why doesn't the Abbey crack down on the taverns? They are dens of evil that dispense only luxury, temptation, and escape. They must be stopped. I'd rather they didn't. That place over there has the best drinks in town. <laughs> See? That's exactly what I mean. They tempt us into wickedness, ruining man and woman alike. The more you drink, the happier and more joyful you get. All the important things in life stop mattering. Their Mabo curry is delicious. <laughs> No, no, no! See? Even children are being tempted by their evils. Eating both Mavo and curry together, it's heresy! There is a limit to the amount of luxury one can endure. What the world needs now is abstinence, austerity, restraint. If you want to deny yourself, go ahead and do it. But don't force your beliefs onto others. People eat to live. Some even live to eat. It's part of being human. Velvet. That's pretty convincing, coming from you. Leave me alone. D hey, I want to eat and drink to my heart's content, too. But doing so makes us no better than animals. In order for humanity to survive these harsh times, we need to overcome our instincts and act like rational beings. Do any of you kind of have a deja vu with Twitter with these guys? I kind of want to switch out the comments. Yeah, because I don't know why. Velvet in this building doesn't seem right. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Repent? Are you talking to me? Yes. When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, I can tell your sins are many and deep. Say that again. Exactly what were you staring at? Well, mankind is rife with sin, and I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done? Yes. Confess your darkest sins, my child, assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. Oh boy. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some pirates to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, Father? Will the Empyreans forgive me? I... Uh, uh, I think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's convenient. I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see, I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here! Quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's... about how I figured it'd go. Really, Velvet? Really? Do you have to spell the beans in a public place? Oh, boy. I'm kind of afraid of the next two. That is one impressive cathedral. It fits the capital. Yes. It's incredible. Hmm. It's as I heard. It wasn't built using Moloch arts, but the latest architectural engineering techniques. Look at those arches. The mathematical logic. The structural ornamentation. This is an architectural marvel. So, is that Empyrean in there? I highly doubt it. Empyrean worship has become mostly symbolic over the years. This cathedral wasn't built as a place of worship. It's commemorative, to celebrate the continent's unification. In other words, a show of power. That explains why they spared no expense. It's too early to be impressed. This is just the entrance, and it's unfinished. They're constructing a colossal temple inside here. 
They say it'll take centuries to complete. Centuries? That's insane. How could they think that's a good idea? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose that sometimes, humans just have a need to push their limits. Yeah, seriously. The Reaper and a demon are shaking their heads at this overwrought monstrosity. Intrinsic worth, zero. I wonder what it'll look like when it's finished. Praise be Shepherd Artorius. Thanks to him, people have started worshipping the Empyreans again. Now our salvation is at hand. The Empyreans? They are the gods that created the world? Yeah. The four Empyreans each rule one of the four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. I read in a book that Empyrean worship is the oldest form of human religion. The Midgan Church also worshipped the Empyreans. But because we've had peace and prosperity for so long, true belief in them has slowly faded. So now that people are frightened of the demon blight, they're clinging to their once forgotten gods. Wait a minute. Maybe Artorius is using religion to manipulate the people into following him. Oh, great Empyreans! Please grant Shepherd Artorius the strength to save your humble servants. If that's the case, he's done a damn fine job of it. Well, this was a detour memorable. On to battle. was something to scout. Oh my God, what the heck was this? 